three quarters of the way in and matter of fact where I'm sitting here now taking a break I can see the creek doesn't look good <laughs> there's a lot of white water I'm seeing down there but basically our plan today is to uh, get out of the house do a little bit of hiking uh, see if we can work off some of the uh, wintertime fat and uh, get an idea how the creek is and how long it's going to be before we can actually get down and get some good gold and I did bring the metal detector with me, so I got plans on at least finding a little bit of gold. I, I got to go home with gold. So I'm thinking break time's over. Let's grab the pack and head on down. Well, I'm pretty sure you can hear that we've made it to the river. Uh, I'll give you a shot of this river. It, it's flowing pretty good. Right now, I think I'm going to break for lunch because uh, it's been a pretty good hike down here. And then uh, as soon as I eat lunch, I'm going to do a little uh, exploring, see if we can make it further up the creek or not. Uh, now that I see the creek, I'm, I'm having my doubts if we're going to be able to move around too much. I'm going to have lunch. I'm here to tell you, I don't know how life can get any better than this. Beautiful day, having a picnic in the woods. I'm getting real close to taking this sweatshirt off. I've been, uh, done a little bit of exploring and we're pretty much stuck right here. Uh, we can't really go upstream because there's uh, another creek coming in that's way too high and I'm not willing to get wet. Uh, if we go downstream, the canyon gets too narrow and there's basically no shore. Um, right in here, we got a, a, an area that we can work, but I don't like the looks of it. But what I've decided to do is, uh, what I think we're going to do is show you how I would handle a situation like this, where this isn't the best looking spot, but we're stuck here. So what do we need to look for to find the best spot in a bad spot to work? So let's take a little tour, see what we got to work with. Now you can see all through here, it's full of driftwood. This whole area, there's a band of driftwood coming right through here. Now, driftwood is not a, you don't want to work around the driftwood because that means there's no flow here. This is where it was uh, pretty much dead water right here. And dead water doesn't work real good for bringing gold in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see in front of me, there's quite a bit of, uh, the trees are beat up a lot more. So let's go up there and take a look at it. Okay, well right here, we got a chunk of metal. Now, grant you, this isn't, isn't real heavy for its size. So it's gonna move in a lighter flow, but we're definitely going in the right direction. Now you can see that this tree has had a rough life. And right over here we have another one and it's actually laid over and it's beat up pretty good. So it's getting better. We got more flow here. So now what we want to do is start looking in this area. We've narrowed it down to, we know we got enough flow here to at least bring in the flood gold. So now we'll, in this general area, we'll look for the next indicator to help us find some gold. We can tell by the vegetation that we got flow. We found some metal. Now, grant you, it's not real heavy metal. Ideally, you want big chunks of iron, 
but it, uh, it's not driftwood. So we're getting better. Now what we need to do is start looking at the gravel and see if we can locate some bedrock, which I'm not too sure about in here because this is kind of like a big gravel bar. So let's take a look at the gravel and see what that tells us. Okay, now we got us a spot here. Our beat up trees are right here. Our metal that we found is right over here. And this looks like bedrock to me. Now the only problem is this gravel does not look good to me. It's too light. Um, it's not worn enough. There is some pieces of uh, what I refer to as not native gravel. This, uh, this, the bedrock around here doesn't look like this. So this is old channel. But the only thing we have here is light material at all. Even though we got big boulders, even the boulders are lighter boulders. Um, if you look out in the creek, you can see the, the boulders in the creek are much denser, much shinier, uh, way better looking boulders. This, all this in here is, all this stuff is fairly porous. Um, it's not real heavy gravel. But this is the best that we can find so far. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig out right in here. It's not really a crevice, but it's a nice little catch. And we'll take a sample and just see what the, the gravel looks like. How much black sand we have, and if there is any fine gold in here, if we can pick up any flood gold. As you're digging this out, the first thing you wanna notice is whether or not this gravel is loose. And if it's loose, uh, you're wasting your time. You need to move on to a better spot. But this stuff right here that we're digging is packed fairly good. And uh, it does have some heavier rocks in it. So that part looks good. So we'll dig this out, see what we can come up with. Well, we got our first pan full of gravel, and it did go down. It's not actually a crevice, but it did have a little shelf. So that part's good, and the gravel doesn't look that bad. So let's see if there's any gold in it. Now, one thing I wanted to kind of explain by when I say the gravel doesn't look that bad, it's, I don't know what you'd call it, the consistency of the gravel. Basically, you don't want all sand uh, because if it is all sand, then the odds are there's no gold there. And you don't want it all rock because that means there's so much flow that it's blown everything away and you're not gonna find the flood gold. So what you're after is a mixture where if you got gravel and sand. You got nice little little rocks in there with your sand. You got a combination of both. And the combination of both I thought I'd seen a piece of gold. <laughs> okay, the combination of both is ideal for your flood gold. Okay. I'm gonna go pan this, I'll be right back. Well, that was tough to pan out because I had to walk quite a ways downstream to find a spot where I'd get near the river to pan it. I mean, everywhere along here, the water is just so rough, you can't pan. But we do have some gold and quite a bit of black sand. Let me show you. Okay, you can see right in here and over in here, we got uh, not a bad pan. Okay, well, I'm gonna suck all this up in the snuffer bottle, and then we're gonna do a little more exploring to see if we can find a little bit better looking gravel. 
Like I say, this is still light. We're finding some nice flood gold. But uh, let's see if we can find a little darker, a little heavier gravel, and maybe a little heavier pieces. Okay, well, we got us a spot right here. I like the looks of this gravel a little better. It's still light. And my feet are on a, well, definitely bedrock. Same problem as before. We don't really have a crevice to work, but we do have some, some pretty good packed gravel right here. So we're gonna dig some of this out and see if this is any better than that spot that's down there a little further. Okay, let's do some digging. Dug a little bit of this gravel down and I actually opened up a little crevice. Now, the crevice is only like an inch wide, but it was a nice deep crevice and it had packed gravel all the way to the bottom, which is a really good sign. Now, I didn't see anything when I was digging it up, but it's pretty muddy water, so hopefully we got some gold in here. I'm gonna pan this out, I'll be right back. Got it all panned out, and this is a really good pan. I'm beginning to think that nobody's ever dug that little crevice out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You see right there? That is one nice pan of gold. Okay, well, it's getting really late, and that was going to be my last pan. But now, after looking at this pan, I'm going to head back over there. I'm going to make sure I clean every speck up out of that crevice and if I find anything good I'll turn the camera back on if I don't I'll see you back at the house well I decided to turn the camera back on I cleaned everything I took the snuffer bottle I washed it down sucked it up didn't find anything huge but I did find some more gold just to, to show you I thought I had it clean but when I knew there was gold in there, I went back and cleaned it even better, and I didn't have it clean. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, you can see right there, we got quite a bit of gold across there. All across there, it's not big, but there's quite a few pieces. Now we're going to get out of here because I got a red flashing light on my camera that says my battery is dead. So I'm going to clean this gold up, pack everything up, and I'll see you back at the house. Well, back at the house, and I'm not even going to tell you what day it is. Well, I got the gold all cleaned up. Let's throw that on the scale and see how we did. Yeah, well, let's see how we did. Well, it looks like we got 1.86 grams. Okay, well, I got no problems with that gold. You know, we got off to a late start, and we were stuck in a spot that really wasn't all that good. But still, we found some gold. Now, grant you that little crevice kind of saved my butt, but even if we hadn't have found that crevice, if we would have worked that uh, gravel bar in that, you know, stayed on that heavier, really well washed gravel, we would have still came home with some gold. So it just goes to show you, if you take the time to analyze your area, uh, even in the middle of summer when you're, you're up doing your normal mining, just take a few minutes look the area over and, and really think it out. Look at the gravel, look at the vegetation, the, the courts of the river. If you do that each time you go out, you will come home with more gold. Okay, now, I have hopes of doing a little treasure hunting tomorrow. You know, with the, the rain is dying down, but there's so much snow up in the hills that uh, the river is going to be high for the next month, if not two. So this is a good time of year to, uh, you know, go out and do a little treasure hunting, try something different, you know, do a little nugget hunting in the old channels, stuff like that. So I've got all my gear all tore up because there's a few things I'm trying out new. 
And uh, so right now, I got to get everything all gathered up. So if you enjoyed the video and you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you know, click on that little notification bell. That way you'll you'll know when I finally get around to putting a video up. Okay, well, I'm going to get this stuff gathered up and I will see you in the next video.